Hey there everyone, this is Danielle playing some more Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage. Last time, having learnt how to head bonk from Goombella, uh, we went back to Autumn Plains and got everything we could do using the head bonk move. And also some stuff we didn't need head bonking for that I didn't realise we could get without it, so... We've finished Autumn Plains now is the point. Uh, so now we're in Winter Tundra here and we're gonna head into a level. So, Mystic Marsh is over there, let's go in. Uh, I don't know anything about Mystic Marsh, I don't know anything about the Winter Tundra at all, because I have never played this far into the game before, so... I don't know what to expect. Hopefully it's fun. Um, I got really annoyed at the game before for making me repeat a bunch of stuff. I have all the moves now, so that shouldn't happen again. Uh, theoretically I've done all the stuff, like I have all the abilities to complete everything on the first visit. So we shouldn't have to do too much backtracking, uh, if we want to complete everything, which is good. Um, we'll see how we go. Okay, so we've got a mystic there, and I guess this is a marsh? Uh, there's some snails with trunks, I guess? Oh, okay, the elephant's disguised as snails. Alright. I don't understand. That was very confusing. <laughs> okay, let's start grabbing treasure. Things just aren't the same since our magic fountain shut off. It sure would help if you could find out what evil force is behind this disaster. Okay. I think it was those elephants. Is that is that like a monkey or whatever throwing Wumpa fruit from Crash Bandicoot at me? That's what it looks like. How do I hurt these guys? Um, I can see the sides of their shells aren't... No? That's not it. Oh, okay, I just, I just charged them. Okay. I thought I maybe couldn't do that because I had the sharp horn on the front and they kept facing me, but no, you, you just charge them. It's easy. <laughs> uh, here's some water. Ooh, there's stuff in the water. We're gonna be diving today. Sounds exciting. Perhaps a bit scary. Yeah, that's a puffer fish. Um, or is it a platypus? What the hell am I looking at? <laughs> um, hmm. Bunch of ducks and things. It's a puffer platypus. This is a really weird area. Is, is it like the magic has messed everything up? And like, you have combo animals now? Like, owlbears? Is that what's going on? Maybe? I don't know. Hmm. Oop, oh, they're inflated again. Yeah, you can't actually breathe fire underwater, you have to use charging. And I'm guessing, yeah, if you charge them when they're spiked up, that's probably bad news. Because, yeah, they're like platterfish, pl pl platypus pufferfish combos. Real weird. Um, where am I now? I'm not sure. <laughs> Hopefully this isn't level isn't too tricky to navigate, it's looking a little complicated. Is that thing an enemy or just a, just a duck? It seems to just be a duck. Can I stand on the duck? You okay duck? You seem sad. Okay, I can sort of stand on you, but I don't think I'm supposed to be able to. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Oh, Mr. Gem. Hello, Gem. Okay, let's get back into the shallows and head out this way. Uh, I can shell rhinoceroses. Those are definitely a real thing. Watch out for them. Oh. <sighs> How do I heal up? Frogs? Yeah, frogs. Okay. Okay. I'm guessing these power-ups will be super jump, because I can see a lot of stuff that looks like it's up high, so being able to jump higher to get up to those things would make sense. Take that elephant. Hmm. 
Hmm. What are we doing? We're at 11%. There's a lot to do here. <laughs> I haven't been to a new level in a while, because in the previous video we were revisiting old levels. Hang on, does that guy actually kill his teammates? Wow. That's a bit drastic. Uh, also, there's some poison down there. A lot of poison. Uh, so, watch out for that. I guess he's disguised, they're disguised as the little shelled guys because you can charge the little shelled guys, but you can't charge those guys. Yeah, I think that's the idea. Because you need to charge the little rhinos, but you can't charge the elephants because they're big. That's trying to trick you into doing the wrong move and getting yourself hurt. Look at all that poison. My goodness. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely thinking these power-ups are going to be jump power-ups just because there's so much stuff that's up on top of these houses and things. It just makes sense. Yep, yeah, okay, so we're up here now. Uh, I guess we can just jump from place to place without worrying too much about- whoops! <laughs> Um, as I was saying, uh, yeah, without having to worry about the power-up is what I meant, not worrying about falling. So the fact that I fell was not ironic, it was just me being bad at video games in a totally non-ironic fashion. Okay, this looks... Familiar. This feels a bit like treetops from the first game, where you had these ramps that warped around in all different shapes, and you had to charge between them, all sorts of stuff. Um, it looks simpler, I'm, and I'm not seeing any supercharge, but maybe that's what we're doing here. It might be fun. Those guys are definitely throwing Wumba through. I guess Activision created both of the remakes, so they were allowed to do that? I don't know. Because I'm pretty sure I didn't do that originally, because Spyro and Crash were made by different folks. Uh, yeah, I was right, that is a super jump. I think? Is it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> Just had to check. Okay. Um... Okay, I'm going to set these all off. Jam, jam, jam. And I can super jump my way up here. Yay! And let's just explore all this area. It's not a whole lot up here, but, you know, an extra life is always nice. We can grab some more gems and charge into some rhinos if you want. Yeah, I feel like the way the enemy defeats worked in the first game was maybe better, because here it's just hit a certain quota and then hitting more enemies does nothing. Um, in the first game, you know, they rewarded you with gems, which meant you had to hit all of them to get 100%, but that wasn't, that wasn't great, but the fact that uh, you could be rewarded for hitting things you already hit with little pearls that gave you extra lives was good, I thought. And that's gone now. What is that? Is that like an enemy? What the heck is that thing? I have no idea. <laughs> um, hmm. Anyway, uh, we can dive into the water over here, and there's some gems down there, so let's go for a bit of a swim. You know, the water controls aren't fantastic, but they're alright. They could be worse. I've played games with real bad water controls. <laughs> They're not as good as Odyssey's though. Odyssey has the best water controls. It's it's really great. It's just a really good game. I need to play more Odyssey. I haven't played it in ages. Jeez. What am I doing with my life? 
I've actually got more hours, I think, on Animal Crossing at this point than on Odyssey. Uh, just because it's the kind of game you just can play every day, whenever you want. Um, although, you know, some stuff shows, shuts down for a day or whatever, but you put a lot of time in just doing fish catching and, and bugs and, you know, expanding your house and stuff like that. There's usually a lot of stuff to do in an Animal Crossing game. What do we got here? More gems. I like gems. I can probably avoid the enemies for the most part if they're not going to hit me now because I've already activated the power-ups. Unless there's some that require more than 20, but I doubt there are. I haven't seen that so far in the whole game, so... Snoozle. Hello, Snoozle. Looks like I let the fountain switch off. Here, take this orb and um, don't mention my little nap to Hydra, okay? Okay. So, the reason the fountain wasn't working is you switched it off and took a nap? Oh, hang on. Is there a not. There's no talismans. Huh. Interesting. I was expecting to get a talisman when I got to you, but I got an orb. Am I just looking for orbs now? Instead? I'm not sure how I'm gonna actually, like, stop Ripto or whatever. Maybe, maybe it doesn't involve any any orbs. Interesting. Maybe talismans. Oh, it's gonna involve orbs, I'm sure, because I'm collecting them. Um, can I break this thing with a... I don't know, I think I meant to jump into it and... Onto that nest, maybe? Hmm... Don't know. What's over here? <gasps> gems! I like gems. Okay, then we got a, got a hole, some more gems in it. Yeah, I don't know why we're collecting all the gems in this game. Like, in the first one, the gems belonged to the dragons and they were stolen and we had to get them back. In in this one, the gems do not belong to the dragons. The gems belong... Oh, okay, that hurts. Uh, don't go in there. Oh, it didn't actually do any damage, though, so maybe it's not that hurtful? I don't know. You just bounce out of it. Hmm. Not sure what that's for. Uh, we can go that way. Okay, Sparks, we can go that way. Okay, we can't go that way. Oh, no, we can't. We can just go to the side here, right? Yeah. There we go. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Down here? Alright. Yeah, a lot of this is looking kind of samey. It's hard to keep track of where I've been before and where I haven't. But I think I have been here before. So, it's kind of interesting that Sparks are telling me to go here again. Yeah, I've definitely done this before. This looks very familiar. Oh, but there's some gems over here that I didn't get. Okay. What am I up to? Uh, where are we getting there? There's a super jump pad there. Well, let's go super jumping. I could I could stand to jump real high a little bit. Uh, there's a car. <laughs> if you wanted a wanted a car, well here's one. Okay, there isn't like a road or anything, so how, I'm not sure how you're planning to get back. From here with all the thieves, like, even if you fix your car, where are you gonna take it? Hmm. Well, that's gonna be some treasure. Can I glide to that? Maybe. No. No, I need some sort of projectile. Or, you know, a flying power up. Are you a thief? Yes. I guess the thieves are kangaroos for some reason. I'm not quite sure I understand the idea of the joke. Um, do kangaroos steal things? Like, I should know that. I'm, I'm living in Australia. I should know about kangaroos, but I don't. So, <laughs> um... Oh no. <laughs> no! They're doing that thing again where you fall into poison and you don't die instantly, but because you've fallen you can't get back out and you're gonna die anyway. 
<sighs> the first game did that a lot. <sighs> Hello, Mr. Explorer. Okay. The kangaroos yet down there. Oh, they run the other way. Okay, I thought I could trip him, trick him up by chasing him from the wrong angle or something. I didn't think kangaroos were super fast swimmers, but you know, whatever. Also, they can't glide, I know that much. Uh... <sighs> yeah, yeah, you can't jump high enough to get out of this. Hmm. Level design. Okay. What are you gonna do with your car, dude? Eh, whatever. Um. Thief chasing time, I guess. Um. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, I can glide that far, it's just difficult. Oops. Also, because I'm charging, if I fall in water, I'll accidentally dive and swim somewhere different. Okay. Hmm. Not sure how I feel about that. Um, hmm. Uh, they went this way, right? I think it's less scary to go the other way because you can just glide instead of having to worry about fluttering. Um, I might be able to just glide here too, but it's just a little scary because you lose height. Um, maybe I'll go the other way. I go this way? Uh, maybe? Um, kinda lost track. Um, okay. You know, I'm assuming they're the thief because they've got the thiefy looking. What's it? You know the thing. The thing on their eyes. <laughs> Mask. Oh my god, I'm tired. <laughs> I think I should take a break after this video. I've been recording a whole bunch of stuff. something else. Uh, oh, hello. Is that another thief? Probably. Okay, that one was much easier. <laughs> Go to spark plug. Uh, I can see some gems down there. I like gems. Why would they want to steal spark plugs anyway? Do they need them for something? Oh hey, I know you. My, do I need that pencil back? Oh, would you like to start over with a new egg? All right. I what are you talking about? What pencil? I have no idea what that's about. A new egg? 
Am I supposed to know what that quest is? Because the game hasn't told me. This fountain's working now. Does that help me at all? It doesn't seem to. It's another, you know, um, kangaroo wearing a mask. It's possible they're just wearing a mask coincidentally and they're not part of the thievery. I uh, have no evidence of thievery. Just of mask wearing, which is not a crime. <laughs> um, hmm. I wonder if the cauldron is relevant for this one. Huh. Why is that first one so hard? These others are really easy. Okay, there's one over there. I think, I, I think you can just sneak up behind them instead of chasing them. Which is much, much easier. the bridge. Oh, um. Why did they build it like this? This is so annoying. <laughs> uh, they weren't planning on having a platforming here or a visit, I guess. to this wall, I should be okay. No, no. Spotted me. I don't get it. They're just running in circles? <laughs> Why is the other one so much harder than all of these? Uh, I don't get it. On the move, on the move. Oh, you can't charge and flame at the same time anyway. Okay, I was trying to contort my controllers so I could press both buttons, but you don't need to. I sure do. Thanks. Okay, um... Let's see, can I stand on your car or on your head? No. Hmm. Can I go over there on those lily pads? It doesn't look like it. I don't think that's supposed to be part of the level. How do I get that one? Hmm. Maybe to use the if I use the big jump to get enough height. One over here, and then I go this direction. Yeah, that'll work. Easy. And that's all the gems. Nice. Well, you're making good progress. Uh, let's go talk to the professor again and try to figure out what the new egg is supposed to be. M maybe he'll actually explain his quest. 
I don't know if that's like a bug or if he's supposed to sound like to make no sense because he's a weird professor. Um, hello, professor. My, do I... Here's another egg. Oh. Pick up the egg and find a way to trade it. What egg? Oh, that one. Okay, well I have an egg. Um, is there someone that needs an egg? Uh, I'll talk to the other people I've seen around. Maybe someone needs an egg. Do you need an egg? Um, I guess not. Do you need an egg? I guess not. Does the explorer need an egg? I can't, I don't understand. <laughs> Actually, you might need to spit it into something, but I don't know where. Um, maybe that weird, like, pot thing that was moving around earlier? Oh, maybe, maybe I put it in the cauldron. I don't know why, because I don't know why that would give me a pencil, but let's see what happens. Because, I mean, why else have a cauldron, right? Oops. Mmm. Mmm, doesn't want to go in the cauldron but looks at things. <laughs> okay, so maybe I need to do something else with it? What if I take it over here? So this thing, I didn't know what this did. Maybe if I put an egg here it'll do something? No, no, it fell down. Um, what am I supposed to do with this? Uh, is the fountain magic to eggs or something? Doesn't look like it. Um, there's, there's a hole in this one. Can I spit the egg into the hole and make magic happen or something? No. It's just such a random quest with no explanation. <laughs> He needs a pencil. We have to trade an egg for a pencil with someone, and we haven't met anyone who wants an egg. Um, there's another hole up there. Maybe if the egg goes through that hole, something cool will happen? No, it doesn't go very high. Hmm. If I put the egg into the fountain, like the top part, something will happen. Up here. No, it doesn't look like it. What? <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> This is so random. I could try spitting the egg at these people and see if they actually want it. I guess not, because it just went past him. I, I don't know. I was worried it would break if I spat it in the wrong place, which is why I didn't try that already. But it doesn't look like it breaks. Uh, it can get stuck inside a person, though. Oh my god. Uh, this seems less than ideally designed. Um, hmm. Hmm. Uh, wrong one. I wanted the next one along with the professor in it, but I can just go around to here and get in that way. Hello, the professor. My do Here's another egg. My do Here what is it that you, that you want? You didn't explain the basic... <sighs> I'm so confused. Um... Like, I'm guessing it's like a, a trading quest sort of thing. Like, you give it to someone, they give you something else, you give them something else, and etc. But no one seems to want anything. As far as I can tell. Oh, hang on, hang on, that's a bird's nest. And this is an egg. Can I put the egg in the nest? Can I drop the egg on the floor? Yes. Maybe if I put it into the nest... Like, why else have this here, right? It wants to help you reach the nest. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Okay, and then the bird drops whatever that is, which is like a, 
a seed or something? Oh, and then the seed goes in that pot we were looking at earlier. That one over there. Okay, okay, I'm getting it now. Oh my goodness. I don't think this was designed very well. Okay, and it grows into a horror plant, which spits out a rubber duck. Of course. <laughs> That's what horror plants do. And then I take the rubber duck to these ducks we were talking to earlier. Okay. I don't know why they put a trading sequence in this level, but it's so weird. Okay, and then... Yeah, I just, I just give you that duck. Oh, and you spit out, like, a little green berry or something. Okay. Sorry, it's purple, but, you know, you spit out a little purple thing. What is it? It's like a radish. Do I need to put it in the cauldron? Like, cook it? Or what? I'll try putting it in the cauldron. God, this level is weird. Just, it's just such a strange level design. Do a bunch of random crap for an orb. <laughs> yeah, that goes in there. And then it'll cook into... a coin? Alright. Um, I think that goes in the fountain. I saw some things that look like coins in the fountain. It's like, like a wishing well sort of thing. If you have a look, you can see there's already coins in here. So I put a coin in. And it gives me a pencil! It's a really short one, though. <laughs> it's already been used a lot. Okay, now I have a pencil. I can take that back to the professor, and he will give me an orb. That was so weird. Pencil. Now I can begin calculating the age of the universe again. Here, take this orb for safekeeping. Alora thinks I'm going to lose it. Is he Tom Kenny? Is the professor played by Tom Kenny? Like SpongeBob Tom Kenny? That would be really cool. I've been remembering his name correctly. I'm just gonna look that up real quick. I'm pretty sure that's the guy's name. Yes. <laughs> but yeah, it sounds like him. Um, Ice King Man. You know, the guy who voiced all the characters in the cartoons. Except the ones Tara Strong voiced, which is everyone else. <laughs> oh my goodness. Gonna have a sleep against a gong? Sounds great. No sleeping for you! Oh, yes sleeping for you. <clears throat> Alright, well that's that level. I mostly got stuck because there was no explanation of the quest with the egg and the, and the, the pencil and... Did, did you accidentally activate the first part and skip it somehow? Or does the game just not tell you what the quest is? Or is it like a bug that it thought I'd activated the quest when I hadn't? Like I did them in the wrong order or something? I have no idea. <sighs> anyway, uh, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Next time... Um, I guess we look for another level, but I don't really know where they are in this world yet, so... I'll figure out where there's another level and we'll do it. <laughs> I'm guessing I'll go down there, maybe? Or over there somewhere. Uh, you'll see when we get there. Thanks for watching. Bye.